Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to the UM Group uh, Glove Box Training. Here is the glove box and what I would like to talk about right now is how to remove a reagent from the glove box uh, for use in a reaction or whatever uh, outside of the glove box. So, the first things first, we're going to come over here uh, and look at the sign-in sheet and we'll just make sure that nobody's in there right now. Looks like Grace was in here earlier today, but uh, she came out at 2.15, so we're all done. So, I'm going to sign in. So the initials and the date. And I'm going into the box. It's about 3.15 p.m. right now. Okay. And the next thing that we're going to do before we go into the box is I'm going to come over here and look at the oxygen sensor right here. And I just want to make sure that there hasn't been any leak uh, or that this is below one part per million. So right now it's 0.58 part per million. And so we're in a good spot. Uh, but that's always something important that you want to check before you go and open up a reagent bottle inside the box because you don't want to contaminate it with uh, oxygen if there happens to be some in the box at the moment. Now if there is oxygen in here, we'll talk about that in a little bit about what to do. Okay, so we've signed in, we've checked, and now uh, we don't use the lab coat in the gloves. Um, we don't have the lab coat on uh, with these, so we'll take that off. And you also want to get new gloves. These are contaminated. I was doing some stuff in the lab earlier, so we also do not want to contaminate the glove box gloves, so we'll take those off. And I'll just throw those away. And usually we store uh, a brand new box of gloves up here or with, um, with new gloves, so I'll grab some of these. And you can also use cotton gloves for this. We, we might have some in some of these drawers. Uh, yeah, I can't find any, but those are something that you can get in the storeroom if that's uh, more comfortable for you. Uh, it's really up to you. So next, we're ready to enter the box. So we'll turn the light on, pull the stool out, and uh, as I push my arm in, it's going to increase the pressure in the box. So I'll, I'll just get my hand in here, but I won't go in yet. And so I'm going to use the, the foot pedal down here to reduce the pressure in the box so that I can then push my arm in uh, without raising the pressure too much. So if we uh, look at this pedal, it's, it's not very obvious, but it actually has two sides on it. So if you push your foot on the left side, that will reduce the pressure inside the box. If you push your foot on the right side, that will increase the pressure in the box. So right now, because I'm going in, I'm going to reduce that pressure. Okay. So I'll get my second arm in here. Okay, now we are ready to get our reagent. And so one thing I really like to do when I'm doing this is right here on the right side, we've got this pair of big tweezers or tongs, and these are gonna be your best friend in the box for grabbing things that are far away uh, or up on the top shelves. Uh, and what we've also kind of learned uh, over years of doing this is that if you handle the vials with gloves, they get really staticky and it gets really hard to weigh things. So if you use these metal tongs, that will reduce the static issue. So I'll grab the vial. We generally have a beaker of vials in here. So I'll grab a vial. Oop, knock it over. <laughs> and put that on the balance. And today I'm gonna be getting some copper triflate. So we'll just weigh that out. Okay, perfect, 20 megs, that's exactly what I wanted. So we'll put that back. And it's a good practice to wipe off any type of spatula here that you soil uh, because you 
you never want to assume, unfortunately, that somebody's done this before you, even though they probably have. Uh, but it's a good idea to just wipe that down just so that it's ready for the next person. And so we're going to bring out our vial here. So I'm going to grab my tongs, grab a brand new cap, which we almost always have bags of these caps in here, right here on the shelf. And these Teflon caps form a really nice seal. So we can seal that up. And now I'm confident that when I bring this out of the box, it's not going to um, leak or anything like that. And I did happen to get a little bit out of the vial onto the balance here. So I'm just gonna take the brush that we keep in this bin up here, and just give it a, a gentle wipe down here. And yeah, just kind of clean your work surface so that it's ready for the next person. Now I'm ready to start coming out. So I'm gonna first take my left arm out. So I'm gonna increase the pressure with the pedal. Okay. And the reason I did the left arm first is because I want to open up the, um, the antechamber here to nitrogen. It's currently under evacuate. So I'm going to do that by gently pushing that over and I can watch the pressure increase there on the gauge. And once it's full, I'll turn this to nothing and uh, we can come here and, and see on the inside of the box. I can pull this handle towards me and that will release the door and I will put my vial in here very gently. It's okay if it falls over. And we'll put this back on. And just take my other arm out. And I am ready to grab my thing. Now it's a good idea to put that lab coat back on because now you're going to be dealing with uh, some chemicals. And I just realized I forgot something. So I'm gonna get this later, I promise. But you do not wanna forget uh, the Kim wipe that you used to wipe down the statue on. You, know, you, you, you wanna to try to avoid leaving trash behind uh, for the next user. So I'll, I'll come back in and grab that in just a second. Uh, but right now I need to get this chemical out and add it to my reaction. So we'll open this, reach in, and there we are. Now when you're done, we'll close this. And you always want to leave uh, the antechamber when it's not in use under evacuate. Uh, because what we found is that there's actually a little bit of a leak on one of the seals. So if you leave it on off, uh, it will slowly leak oxygen into the box. So we just want to leave it under evacuate. And we're good to go. I'll turn the light off. And I've got my chemical.